Hello everyone, my name is Tiago Carvalho from ISAP and I'm going to demonstrate the use of the multi-criteria optimization pipeline developed in the context of Ampere. This pipeline considers three parts. First, we have the code generation to obtain multiple variants. Then we have a profiling and analysis phase. And finally, a multi-criteria optimization phase. So let's start with code generation from the MLDM models. For this demo, we are using the PCC use case and we will focus on the TSR component. For this component, we will generate two variants, one using only CPU and another one that runs some of the runnables in the GPU. By running the SLG with the different specializations, we obtain the code for the two variants. Switching between specialization is as easy as changing the local specialization property in a runnable call. Note also that some of the runnables are set with a seal tag, so the SLG generates code replication for those runnables. Now, looking at the generated code, we can see how SLG generates code replication by using the replicated directive. And the differences between CPU and GPU variants can be seen, for instance, in the classification task, in which the same CPU version simply uses the task directive, while the GPU version uses the target directive. Now, to execute the multi-criteria optimization pipeline, we need to define a configuration file that will control all the following phases in the pipeline, including the profiling and the analysis phases. This configuration file has information regarding each variant, in this case, CPU and GPU, and it includes information on how to build the variant and how to execute the compiled executable. Also, the configuration file has information regarding the target platform. In this case, we have an NVIDIA AGX Xavier. In the platform, we define the commands to set up the platform with different configurations. Here we have the initial setup, and then we have configuration for each of the devices, CPU and GPU. More importantly, here we can control the frequency in which we execute CPU and the GPU, allowing us to explore the variances in different system configurations. Now that we have the configuration file, we can execute the tool. To run the tool, we use the executable named multi criteria config, which accepts as input the configuration file that we have defined. Now the program takes control of the optimization pipeline. The program starts by compiling the different variants and together with the multi model builds a set of template files to be used during the profiling phase. More importantly, it creates the base TDG file containing all the test dependency graphs and corresponding nodes. Here we can see the profiling phase running, in which it is switching between the different system configurations and profiling the two variants using XTRY and AMPERF tools to extract performance measurements. Each system configuration and variant creates a TDG file containing results per node. Each result contains the location in which the node was executed, the execution time, and the performance monitoring counters read during the execution. At the end of the profiling phase, we will obtain several TDG files, which the tool now analyzes and extracts timing and energy performance metrics from the nodes and the complete TDGs.
for each node, the timing analysis metrics extracted are worst case execution time, average time, and statistics regarding the performance counters. For energy analysis, the power consumption is estimated. For each task, the timing analysis metrics extracted are the volume of the TDG, the average mix span recorded, the worst mix span recorded, and the maximum parallelism of the TDG. For the energy analysis, an energy estimation is calculated based on estimated powers and the worst case execution time of the nodes. Now that each TDG file is annotated with timing and energy metrics, they can be given as input of the multi-criteria optimization tool. The multi-criteria DAG optimizer has a command line interface with several options. Some allow to specify the hardware model, among which we support the Xilinx UltraScale and the NVIDIA Xavier boards. The other options instead enable loading the software model, in other words, the application to be optimized. The Ampere use cases are in the form of JSON files. Here I'm showing the PCC component of the automotive use case described by the TDG annotated with the timing information. The software model is loaded in the optimizer with the minus JSON option. Here I've got a script to run the optimizer to obtain the configuration for the PCC application on the Xilinx board having the maximum robustness against unpredictable events and a power budget for the average power consumption. When I run it, the application hands over the computation to the Gurobi optimizer and returns the configuration in both a textual and a graphical representation. The textual version is a YAML file and is later fed to the RTDAG application for the execution on the real platform. The graphical representation instead is a PDF file where we got the hardware model made of four CPU cores and an FPGA slot, all drawn as rectangles, and the software model composed of tasks, the ovals, and their dependencies. The placement of a task is encoded by its oval spatially placed into the rectangle of a processing unit. The colored boxes encode the OpenMP parallel regions along with their reservation parameters. At the bottom there's the estimated power consumption value.